This video will look at the easiest way to create an HR service with a record producer and an HR template in ServiceNow HRSD. So there are two ways that you can create a, and the documentation mentions this, that you can create an HR service um, with a record producer. The first way is sort of the manual way. So that is if we go to HR service configuration, and I won't go into this uh, too much, but uh, if we did a, a new record, uh, we could create this HR service in here and then go and create a record producer and associate it in here with this HR service and go and create a template and associate it with this HR service. That's the manual way. The faster and easier way is to go to manage HR catalog. And it brings us to this UI page. So on the left, we have a list of all catalog categories. Um, so these catalog categories are what are specified in the service catalog. They are not the uh, topic categories and topic details that are found in HRSD uh, for services. They are also not the topics that are found under taxonomies for employee center. So it is a little bit confusing. Uh, and I'll do another video on that because there are three different uh, structures for categorizing things and uh, that gets kind of mixed, yeah, that gets kind of confusing. But if you're not using a service portal and you are using employee center, then these categories don't really matter. Um, so what's confusing about this is when you first go to this page, the all catalog items is highlighted and these buttons are grayed out, specifically the new catalog item. And that's the, this is the button that unlocks the magic. So what you have to do is click on any of these uh, categories and it doesn't matter which one you click on because uh, another confusing thing about this page is that it gives you the impression that, hey, when I click on benefits and I do new catalog item, it's gonna create this catalog item under benefits. And that's not necessarily the, the case. So I can go anywhere, we'll put it under benefits and let's create a new one called uh, uh, how about uh, pay stub, paper pay stub requests. If I don't want to get my uh, pay stub, I want to get my paper, my, my pay stubs the old school way. So paper pay stub request. Okay. Let's see if I can type here. Okay, request for pay stub specifically a paper pay stub. Okay, now I have to decide the case type, uh, a, a, AKA the COE that I wanted to go into. So we'll make this a payroll case. And we'll do payroll administration. Is there something, uh, how about payroll system? And just stick it in there for now. So these, this topic category and this topic detail is specific for HRSD. This is not uh, what we saw over here that's kind of behind this window right now, which is the service catalog uh, categories. This is not This is not that, this is its own thing. So then we can put the assignment group, we'll do HR payroll and priority, we'll make that uh, critical. So we go ahead and publish that. And now if I refresh, Right, now we can see our paper paste of request. And actually it did put it in benefits. Um, but again, these categories don't really matter. So uh, let's stick it in payroll, but it doesn't really matter. I, I guess what I was trying to, yeah, let's save the changes. What I was uh, thinking about before was so if I'm in here, it doesn't matter which one of these I'm in. When I do new catalog item, it's going to stick me in case type uh, HR case uh, because my brain gets confused when I think when I see category over here and I see category here. I think ah these should line up, right? When it uh, when I'm in 
general, then I should be able to go into here and this should, well, okay, <laughs> that is general, so bad example, but HR systems, and I go here, then this should be HR systems, but these two things have nothing to do with each other. Uh, so that that's kind of where the confusion is. Okay, so now let's go look at uh, what uh, was just created with this. So we'll go back to HR service configuration. And here it is, paper paste of request. And we can see that it put it in the right COE. It put it into the category in detail that I specified. Uh, it also created a template. If we go take a look at that template, uh, the template contains the priority that I specified and the assignment group that I specified. And then finally, it created the record producer. And what's nice about this is the HRSD record producers require this script on the bottom here. It calls the script include. And what the script include does, among other things, is takes all of the values from the variables and dumps them into the description field. So this is nice to have. If you create the record producer from scratch uh, and it doesn't have this, then you, you'll find it. It's not. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't do that, among other things. So uh, you you start to scratch your head and wonder why. So it's um, it's that's why one of the reasons why it's good to use the manage HR catalog to create the new uh, HR services and record producers because this will come along with it. The other thing that it does that's important is it puts it into the human resources catalog. Um, even if you're using um, employee employee center this item still needs to be a part of a catalog, specifically the human resources catalog, in order for uh, the item to show up in the employee center. So the next step would be, uh, since now you've created the HR service and the record producer and the template, if you wanted to put this into uh, employee center as an item under a, a topic, um, there's one more step that you have to do with the taxonomy. Uh, and I have another video for that. If you, I'll put the link in the, uh, in the description. So that is a summary of the quick and easy way uh, to add a HR service with a record producer and a template into ServiceNow HRSD.